If you are a resident of the U.S., obtaining U.S. citizenship can bring you several opportunities such as a prestigious U.S. passport, right to vote, and no fear of deportation. However, to become a U.S. citizen necessitates a few steps, such as proving your eligibility to filing, taking your fingerprints, be present at an interview, passing the prescribed tests to assess your knowledge of English as well as U.S. civics, and taking part in an oath ceremony. Let us go through these steps one by one. To be eligible, you must be in possession of a U.S. green card denoting lawful permanent residence. If you do not have one, try to get one. If you are a green card holder, you should meet certain extra requirements to be eligible, in the opinion of immigration lawyers. These are the time that the number of years you have spent in the United States as a lawful permanent, passing a test in English, U.S. history and government and more. Sometimes you are not eligible for citizenship right now. You may lack moral character as you committed some type of minor crime. The continuity of residence was broken, by remaining outside of the U.S. for extended periods. So, you must take the necessary steps to become eligible. For a full analysis of this situation, you need to consult an immigration attorney. Once your eligibility is established, you should do some paperwork with the USCIS or Citizenship and Immigration Services. You should fill out the N-400 form to begin the process. The cost of filing the application for naturalization is $595, along with a biometrics fee of $85. And while you are at it, attach a copy of your green card. With the acceptance of your application, you will be informed of the date for biometric and fingerprinting. A background check is necessary before your application is processed. A date and the address of an office will be sent to you for fingerprinting. The FBI will make a background check of your fingerprints. After the fingerprinting is over, you will be given an appointment date at the address indicated by a UCSIC officer for an interview. Here, the officer goes through your N-400 application to substantiate your answers to every question. He, she, will evaluate your knowledge U.S. civics and English. If your application is approved at the interview, you will be invited to a public ceremony, where you, along with others, will be given the oath, when you will have to swear your loyalty to the nation of the United States, when you are awarded the Certificate of Naturalization, indicating that you are a U.S. citizen. Do you have any bothersome items in your personal background? If so, you should hire an immigration lawyer immediately to assist in applying for U.S. citizenship.